There are two types of studies that we can do to determine how well our equine vaccines are doing. Equine flu tends to change its outer coat. It's a sneaky virus. That sneaky virus allows it to kind of evade the immune system. So there are two ways that we can test for equine influenza to make sure that our vaccines are effective. One is cross-reactive immunity studies. So we test to make sure that horses that are vaccinated react with the viruses that we isolate so that they have antibodies to prevent those new viruses. Two is challenge experiments. What that means is that we will give them a vaccine and then test to see if they, when we challenge with equine influenza, if they hold up, if they don't get sick. This is a vaccine that is important because almost all horses throughout their life will get influenza. So it's important to challenge once in a while to prove that you can't get it and that our vaccines are effective. FluVac Innovator has probably the most data that I know on file of any scientist that I know that works on these vaccines because you've got studies with up to close to 10 viruses that have been tested separate from the virus that's in the equine influenza vaccine for Innovator. That shows you that this vaccine is still current. I recommend FluVac Innovator EHV41 vaccination booster for all my horses in the fall. FluVac Innovator vaccine contains Kentucky 97 equine influenza strain. That vaccine and that strain has been very effective at helping prevent and protecting your horses for equine influenza. When we were looking at the different viruses as they've evolved for influenza for the horse, there was a bifurcation and it occurred right at about Kentucky 97. So there's two main clades beyond that or kind of strains that have evolved in a group. Kentucky 97 was right when they kind of broke into those two strains, which are very helpful because by doing that, you get cross-reactive set of antibodies. That means when you vaccinate for a horse with Kentucky 97 strain, you get a very good set of antibodies to help you prevent clade one and clade two viruses. FluVac Innovator had a recent study that was just done to tell how the Kentucky 97 strain in the vaccine would help prevent or show cross-reactive antibodies for A. Shire 13, which is European isolate, Kentucky 14, and Texas 12. These are the most recent OIE isolates that we have on file at the OIE reference lab at the University of Kentucky. There was very good cross-reactive antibodies when vaccinated with Kentucky 97 FluVac Innovator to those strains. Clade 2 is a lot of the European isolates that we've been finding recently. One of the reasons that Zoetis chose not to do a challenge and just do cross-reactive antibody studies for that was that we were worried that those isolates haven't been found in the United States, and we did not want to bring those strains in the United States. It's only been isolated once in quarantine with a horse that was flown over from Europe. We don't see the Clade 2 isolates very often in those European-like lineage viruses here in the United States. Therefore, we won't do a challenge to try to bring that virus over into the United States. We'd be fearful to do that.